This is Sexy Funny Raw, where we chat all about the world of sex, from dating and relationships all the way to the adult industry itself. I'm Sylvia Sage, and this is my Porn Spective, answering all the questions you weren't even brave enough to ask Google. Get ready, because Sexy Funny Raw starts now. Hey, 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 welcome back to another episode of Sexy funny raw i am your host sylvia sage and joined in studio with me is my co-host dr eddie giving us his public health perspective although on this episode i don't know how much public health we will get into (laughs) but we do have a very interesting topic with the beautiful and stunning lexi i honestly lexi smith i'm sorry has been in studio with us all month as her very last uh, episode with us i have been so impressed by you and I am so very excited to get into this episode because this one, guys, is sexual fantasies. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the spice that you have brought to this show this <laughs> month, there's got to be so many fantasies brewing in that little head of yours. I feel like right before the show, you were ready to doctor, uh, ready to offer Dr. Eddie um, a little threesome here in the studio. I so, was, I was. Uh, <laughs> So, the offer's still on the table. Yeah. It's still there. For the record, there's four of us in this room. There are four Just of us. Four of us. Yeah. Foursome. Orgies. Orgies. Is orgies. it foursome or orgy at that? What is it? Go to threesome to orgy or foursome? I'll defer to the experts. I Ladies. don't know the answer. I say foursome and then after foursome, it's an orgy. Orgy. So yeah. you want an orgy to be five or more? For me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> is that a sexual I fantasy? Don't, I don't write the like dictionary for sex that's words, true, true. Right. but yeah do you like group sex is that a fantasy of yours I love group sex, you do yeah. i'm not oh, a f- <laughs> oh, i don't love group sex <laughs> i don't i don't love but what do you love about it it's the same thing that i was talking about before with you guys about like the threesome yeah there's something about that anticipation aspect of like it's going to be It's my turn soon. next. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait till it's mine. And like, I wonder if you kind of have like a cuckolding fantasy then. Does that does that play well, out like the watching? Well, well with it's cuckolding, cook, right? don't you have to like, like you're not involved. But though, you right? don't get involved. But the turn on that is the be, watching. That would piss me off. <laughs> that would piss me off. If you, you want me to watch, get a chance. I'm just closing my eyes. I'm not even watching, okay? <laughs> Maybe that's I'm why I'm masturbating and closing my eyes while you moan. I'm not going to sit there and watch. Maybe that's why you don't watch porn because you maybe. would feel jealous of maybe. that. Oh my gosh. That's very interesting. Speaking that of diagnosis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Da, da, da. I'm learning things. Yeah. I feel like I know you so well, actually, by the end of all these episodes. <laughs> no, I, so yeah. It's only a turn on if I'm there and I know it's almost mine. Okay. Like, like if it's going in and I'm like, it's going in me next. I'm in position. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. You know? But if I'm like watching just to like be a cheerleader and be like, yeah, you take it so well. No, that's that's awful. So like I want to partake. So for you, the tops of a top fantasy is like a threesome then. Like, because that way you can have the little visualization, the little anticipation, and yes. then the cock. Yeah. Yes. The anticipation, the visualization. And you're like, you're literally right there. You're like, <laughs> that dick is mine in three <laughs> seconds. I'm not like waiting for you to walk across the hall. It's mine in three. Like, I yeah. can get in position and I know yeah. very soon that's mine. Yeah. And like, you're watching it and you're like, she likes it so much. I'm going to like it even more. Yeah. I- it's just like it's right there. You I just get it. Right there. But I will say threesomes or orgies or anything like that much harder to do in public, right? I've never done. Oh, I did a threesome in somewhat in public. But you did? How? On a beach. <laughs> like, was it <laughs> a private beach? beach? Um, so I was at a bar. To be honest, me and my friend were at a bar near Hermosa Beach. Daytime, Am I nighttime. Saying it correctly. Hermosa. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wh- whatever it's called. Um, it was nighttime, but there okay. were a lot of people there. Okay. And we were like, oh, let's go to, like, the lifeguard stand. We can probably fuck there and no one will see. Well, we walked over to the beach. We did not go to the lifeguard stand. <laughs> we just, like, stepped, like, three feet onto the sand and, like, started <laughs> fucking. And people were walking by. And I was like. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was like, yeah. But it, it was fun. It was spontaneous. <laughs> and I loved it. It was yeah. so spontaneous. And it was fun because of the whole threesome aspect. Mm. I could, like watch my friend having fun and I was like I'm next let's go you know <laughs> that is just so it. funny to me 
Uh, I do not have that same fantasy. I think my fantasies are, mine are very public, not public. And what I mean by that is like, I think of like elevator sex, car Ooh, sex, bathroom that. sex, like those type of things that are like, and maybe not even sex to, uh, the, to come. Like sometimes the hottest sex to me is just like, getting it in and doing a few bumps and like yes. leaving it to lingering till later like that's pretty hot yes. to me like I don't need to come every time I feel your dick you know like oh, sometimes I just want that little like just a little pump to it but I love the fear of getting caught yes what is that yes. psychologically the fear no, of getting caught that's I don't so know hot I'm the same way and like my thing is if there's like a high risk of getting caught I won't do it like if it's high I've, risk. I've never done anything on a plane and everyone's like, Yeah, that's crazy. I can't either. I'm so, And I'm, I'm like, so, no. But that's a no fly risk. list. Yeah, but like <laughs> that's my, a different story. The risk of getting caught is like, no. Like, yeah. It's the adrenaline, right? It's just probably yeah. perhaps uh, one of the same reasons that people do things that re like that motivate or that require high adrenaline. Like jumping out of a plane. Absolutely. Well, or, I have my license, right? Yeah. So I, I'm like, I'm a skydiver and a snowboarder and all yeah. those things. And it's the adrenaline that you're going for. And mm -hmm. so I could certainly see how there would be some sort of relationship between the two. Mm, I get that. So I, sure. I don't know if you've had elevator sex. I did. And it was no, quick. No, I it haven't. It was definitely quick. It's Only on, in my it's dreams. It's on my OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh, it um, is? Yeah. Oh, that's no, hot. Um, that's hot. I'm subscribing. Guy, I'm in. Me and this guy, we were fucking in the elevator. We were going down to get our car and no one was there. I was like, oh my yeah. God, pull my pants down. <laughs> Fuck me right now. Let's go. <laughs> it was so hot. And then we went to the garage and we were fucking on his car in the parking lot. Nice. But nobody was there. So yeah. it wasn't like... Like daytime, people. Sure. No, I would not do a daytime when people. It was low were risk. Out. It was nighttime. It was mm. low risk. We heard noise and we instantly stopped. Mm. It was Only like, the security guard watching the camera. <laughs> yeah. really got the the best out of that. <laughs> and he got it. probably loved it. He, yeah. he wasn't mad because he didn't like arrest us. So yeah. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it's like fun as long as it's low risk. Right. The risk is fun, but if it's low risk, I feel like if yeah. it's high risk, like that's the same with like. You know, I had mentioned to you before, I love public stuff. Yeah. But it has to be low risk. Like, um, I did another video for OnlyFans, but it was, like, also, like, fun for me. I was at this restaurant in Boston where the bathroom, you walk in, and it's, like, women's on one side, men's on the other side. Mm -hmm. In the middle are the sinks. So it's, like, you walk in and you see this counter with sinks on either side, mirrors up the middle. Right. And then the girls walk this side, the guys walk this side, but yeah. it's, like very open yeah. so you could accidentally walk to the wrong side right so i accidentally on purpose walked <laughs> to the wrong side and i sucked and fucked this guy in the bathroom nice and like it was low risk because a it's all adults right nobody's gonna say anything it's like no one cares but b it was like late night not as many people yeah so it it was fun because it was there was risk but it was low risk. I don't like high risk stuff. I'm yeah, like, I no. feel that because nobody really wants to like go to jail no. over sex. Be a fucking you know, sex like, offender because you got off. Yeah, like, what no. a bad way to end your night. Yeah, you know, yeah. I totally get Awful. that. Yeah, uh, I was telling these two the story. I actually have been like not arrested, but I was definitely handcuffed and escorted away, and then ruined the vacation for all of my friends because of having public sex. So not handcuffed. Yeah. During sex, like handcuffs. No, I, that was totally oh, different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would have handcuffs during sex. I'm totally yeah. into as long as they're fuzzy. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, but I don't yeah. want to get hurt. No, I agree. I don't it's like. I don't like anything painful about right. sex. No, same. It's like the concept that like you're gonna do whatever yes. you want to me, but like don't yes. hurt me. Yeah, it's like be nice. We can you can do whatever you want yeah. as long as I like have it. The whole We've time. had this yeah. conversation about yes. consent and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Oh, for sure. And you have to, especially in a situation where it is any yeah. kind of like restriction for one party or the other, the amount of consent that has to be consensual along the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Like a continual like. This okay. There this should is be a okay. Plan. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Plan. Safe, words. safe words. Yeah. All of the things. And just honestly, you really have to trust uh -huh. in that type uh -huh. of situation. Yeah. I mean, you should be trusting anybody that you're right. having but that sexual requires intercourse more with. Trust, yeah. Well, it sure. depends what we're talking about, right? Because we live in a hookup culture as yeah. well. Like it's a weird. Yeah. flip side to the Puritan religious side yeah. uh, where people just meet for the first time 
have sex and then may or may not see each other again. Yeah. Right. And this happens across the board. Yeah. It's straight, man, yeah, gay, all yeah. of it. Uh, and so probably don't want to get tied up in those kinds of situations. Yeah. But I'm sure it does happen. Well, yeah, I'm sure it does. Right? Yeah. And so, like, you know, I think that's an interesting area. Yeah. Uh, do most of your fantasies involve the low risk, Lexi? <laughs> or, are, yeah, they yes, do. Actually okay. They do. I love it. Like, I love, love, love it. Like, and this is like even in real life outside of OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, we're out at a bar. I'm gonna. I'm the girl that'll be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna lock the door, even yeah. if it's like three stalls. I'm gonna lock the door. Knock three times so I know it's you. I'm yeah. letting you in. We're locking the door again. Like I fucked in like bar bathrooms, airport bathrooms. Nice. Like I, I think it's so fun. Yeah. You know? It's just like I agreed. Oh, I love it. I don't think you're alone. I yeah. think lots of people do. But it's uh, yeah. the risk is exciting, but it's also low risk. Like I said, it's mm. not like I'm trying to get caught. I'm not like in the fucking corner of a bar f- lifting my skirt up, getting fucked. But it's yeah. like yeah if you do get caught they probably just throw you out i had friends back in the day that they were the most sexual couple i've ever known in my entire life but they would have blatant public sex in like the most obvious places but because it was so obvious it was like people were oblivious because it shouldn't be happening but it's happening directly in front of you so uh, like, like I mean, yeah. back in the days when we used to go to nightclubs. Yeah. Remember those days when we used to go to like foam parties yeah. and all of those things? Yeah. That would be happening on the dance floor constantly. Well, not that. Really? Yes, in a dance club. But this. Okay. So my the situation I'm thinking of was we were all in a very nice steak restaurant and we are in the lobby <laughs> of the waiting area. It's a Friday or Saturday night. The lobby is filled with people. We're waiting for our table to get called. And he's sitting in the booth and she's just bouncing on him sitting on his lap and she has a skirt on and he's just unzipped his pants in the middle of a busy restaurant in the wild the hostess is like well welcome yes. to ruth chris yes uh, oh, would you like yes. would, would you like he's an like, appetizer yes or yeah and i was just like i cannot even believe and it was like everyone was oblivious and it's do they want a third wheel <laughs> yeah <laughs> you text them for yeah. me but I was just like mind Tell blown. I was like, you girl. guys are going to get us all arrested. Sure. <laughs> but, but I think because it was so uh, like so in like obvious, not obvious to anyone else, obviously, but because it was so in the middle of the day and like a place you would never expect people to be having sex. That, like no one even processed it as that is sex. So wild. That's interesting. That's- yeah. That makes me think of high school going to the movies and wearing a skirt. Um, yes. And a whole bouncy bounce. But I was in high school. Like, yeah, I, my sex opportunities were limited. So I had well, to do of course. the bouncy bounce. Yeah, <laughs> we think we were just having this conversation the other day of like I haven't had sex in my car in such a long time, but Wanna that's do because it after the show. yeah, <laughs> you have a but pretty spacious car. Yeah, hey. my car's pretty small. So. But it's only because you have other places to have sex now as right. an adult, right? You right. know. That's so, true. but now thinking back, I'm like, car sex was so hot, but I'm like, was oh, it? It's still so hot. I Is still it? Love it. You know what I love about? I it? haven't had it in so I long. Love car sex. I love the like. We're leaving the restaurant or whatever, and you're like, I can't wait till we get home. Yeah. Get in the fucking back of my car, bend over, spread your cheeks, let's go. Is that what you're saying to him or no? I'm just kidding. No, that's what you're saying to me. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. And then I whip my dildo and I'm like, take yeah. it, daddy, take it. Yeah. And then I lick his asshole after he asks me. Yes. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. I'd be hesitant in your car, though. Because yeah. it's so fancy. Yeah, I know. I don't want to ruin like anything. new and fancy. It's like, yeah. you better aim. What about on the hood? Yeah. Maybe on the hood? Maybe, maybe yeah, on the maybe. Hood. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Outside of the car. Outside, yeah. yeah. Leather interior. It's easy to clean, but is it? I am nervous about it. It's easy to clean, it. but it's a little too nice. You're like, uh. what? But you could also open the door and like bend her over yeah. in the car. No, that's excellent. Yeah. And then the, that's the, the thrusting though. is outside the car. It's really just her arms. Yeah. Inside. That's fair. True, true. Excellent. You've heard it here, folks. That's what? what you do if she has a really nice car. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. just arms in, butt out. How fine. how do you feel about, because this is one that I love. So first off, I love anytime I drive by someone's house or hotel or whatever, I always look through windows to see if I can see people fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a person who fucks in windows with lights on? Would you allow, yes. the, do you allow spectators to take yes. it in? Yeah, same, yes. same. I think I that's super that. hot, too. I like... I love being on display, especially in yes. Vegas when like all the hotels kind of face know. each other, yeah. you know? 
and you're like, I'm going to be your sex show for the night, you know? Like, I love it. You're I'll be there next weekend, actually. <laughs> Look for sex shows in the windows. Does it, do, am I the only one? Everyone looks for no, sex shows, right? I'm visiting family, so, like, oh. it's a whole different world. Okay, but right. don't you, do you ever drive past and but look But I always for stay in the hotels on this trip, though. Last time I, I was in Vegas, actually, my friend and I were doing a video where we um, propped our dildos. No, the, like, suction cups? Of side. course, yeah. We propped our dildos up on the window to outside. Nice. Yes. So Backing up. Nice. So if anybody saw, they got a great. Yeah, they view. did. Yeah. Sure. Most of those have great. tints, though, so you can't see in. Mm, not in at the night. Daytime. I was gonna say. At night, at night you can. Night you can. Yeah. At night, it's at like night a freaking can. like yeah. live show in <laughs> front is. of you, and I'm into it. Oh my gosh. Vegas has everything. Yeah. yeah. Live show they, Vegas has everything. <laughs> Vegas has everything. <laughs> Me, ah, Sylvia, and Doctor Eddie yeah. in Vegas. <laughs> at the yeah, wind. we're joining you, Doctor Eddie. Floor, floor five. We'll, we'll give you the details. We're putting on a show. Uh, we'll rent out the entire floor. Just yeah, anybody there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is this a foursome or yeah. an orgy? Because we have to. Uh, yeah, right, right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. You're right, right. 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 Yeah. Technically, it would be a foursome, but we could get more people to make it an orgy. Yeah. It's Vegas. Yeah. It is. You Vegas. can do anything you want in Vegas. We can do it. Have you had... Except it's uh, 150 degrees there. Yeah, it's so <laughs> hot. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Fine, that's fine. true. Did you have any fantasies? like coming into porn that you were able to make come true in pornography? So, um, I mean, I would consider my OnlyFans porn because it's Of course it is, videos. yeah, yeah. Um, so not necessarily with mainstream, but I know like after I started OnlyFans, I was able to do certain things I wanted to do, like that sex scene I did at the restaurant in Boston. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done that mm -hmm. except for OnlyFans and I was like, Telling the guy, I was like, "Yeah, I need it for content." <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, or like, I did a hiking video, and there were people around. That's but, hot. But I like again, that. it was lower risk because, like, mm -hmm. I knew there were only a few people coming by, and if they did come by, I could like whip yep. them up real quick, and it was fine. Yeah. But um, those are things that, like, I don't know. I've done certain things that definitely were fantasies that I thought were really hot. That I feel like if I just asked a guy outside of hey, I want to do this for content, I feel like they'd be like, no, that's, that's not a good <laughs> idea. That's not safe or whatever. Where I feel like... Buzz kills. I, no. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> there, there are pretty serious repercussions. There are. It's yeah. certainly across the board for people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I feel like if I didn't come into it with the whole like, oh, it's for content, they'd be yeah. like, no, you're nuts. But because it was for content, I was able to do those things. Yeah. What about fantasies that maybe like you thought you wanted but then when you started to create them realized that it necessarily <laughs> wasn't necessarily what you wanted out of the situation um for me beach sex comes to mind <laughs> because it always sounds yeah. hot and it's the worst idea i ever. only did beach sex once but to be fair we had like a little lounge chair so i wasn't really getting in, in the, the sand, sand. Yeah. yeah in your go fun. bag that we've discussed before yeah. we should have a sheet we could prepare for beach sex. but even with a sheet that no. sand sure. is sand everywhere is well, listen i did it with a chair do, do it with a chair yeah. like one of those like you long know, beach chairs long yeah lounge chairs and that's what i did no sand anywhere yeah. it was great yeah, that's not necessarily. Chair, so yeah. it was at the beach. Yeah, it is it at wasn't, the beach. It wasn't sand yeah. sex, but it was beach sex. Yeah, and like it's great because like the background is a beautiful beach, and while I'm, and then you like zoom in, and I'm getting pounded, or you zoom out and you see the beach. Well, the only right. thing about it is like it's you can do it. I feel like there's a lot of ways to have beach sex and not get sand like in your pussy or in your mouth or whatever, but it's always gonna be in your hands, your feet, and then you touch things, and it's just like it just transfers. Just do it standing up, Sylvia. So but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, yes. But so to be fair, we had the chair, and so like he's laying down, and I'm squatting on him, and my hands are kind of here. So you I'm never like, even touch I didn't sand. Touch the sand. Yeah, I that's didn't different. Touch the sand. He was sandy, so no, was, no yeah. ass eating at that point. Yeah, yeah. No. got it. But there's never been anything you tried that you were like, never doing that again. Bad idea. Um, <laughs> you're like, no, I've tried, tried all. I liked it all. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. All great. I yeah, no, it. no qualms. It was uh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is good. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, know. I well, mean, that's pleasant. I don't know. Yeah. But all I can think of, this isn't like what you're asking, but it's yeah. like me kind of like going off on a trail. Yeah. But I really wanted to do this position, um, the pile driver. 
Oh, and yeah. And I was like, I was like, this is so hot. I can't yeah. wait to do it. So we're setting up and we're doing it. And I'm like in the position and I'm like, kind of like my back's up against the chair because yeah. I'm like in that pile drop position and I'm like you know it looks really hot in videos this is yeah. miserable yeah this sucks it was yeah. probably miserable for the people filming that yes. too yeah it was right I was like yeah. this is yeah. awful I'm like can you like okay how many more seconds yeah. do I need right. to do before yeah. I can check this off my list yeah. because like this is awful yeah and afterwards I watched and it looks so good it I looks was, like, hot I was like wow that angle is really yeah. hot yeah but like it hurts your neck it my yeah. neck my <laughs> back everything yeah. hurt i was like dude this is awful yeah like, no that's zero fair out of 10. i like, think i've done again. one pile driver in a movie in my nine years and i had the same reaction i was like yeah i'm not gonna do that no. anymore that's fucking it's awful, awful. <laughs> yeah i'm like how do I wasn't think? it a wrestling move wasn't it, it might like have been like yeah move? it okay. might have been Something i like just yeah. want to take it's like, torturous i'll tell you that yeah i want to take the five seconds and somehow like repeat them over like three minutes so it's just like wow <laughs> she took it for so long like, three <laughs> minutes and it was really five it's seconds. like a, nobody knows, a strange so. on a loop yeah oh well I know you will be incredibly happy if you do go and follow her page. So, Lexi, tell the people where they can find you. So, my Instagram is New England underscore chick, and my spicy link is onlyfans.com slash XOXO Lexi. Beautiful. We love it. All right. Thank you, Dr. Eddie, for all of your uh, beautiful advice, although not too much public health advice going into this episode, but still <laughs> knowledge nonetheless. <laughs> all right, guys. Until next time. Adios. 